gonna play that shit back. Play that shit back. <laughs> Good morning. Do you know like when you've slept funny, like got this really bad pinch in my neck and <sighs> you know what I'm saying, right? It's just horrible. Okay, but I'm up. Ow. I'm up every time I kind of move my arm in a specific way. It just kind of catches. It's really, really. Uh, I just. Uh, oh. Okay, so like here's the weirdest thing, right? I don't know what the weirdest thing is. I slept so hard that I slept my elastic out of my hair. Uh, uh, do you have that sometimes? You go to bed with a ponytail and you wake up and you're like, your hair's all over the place. And then you get up and you're like, oh, that's where my elastic went. It was like that. I don't know how some people do it waking up looking like a million bucks i feel like some people get up do their makeup and then go back to bed pretending like they just woke up other than me you know that literally just woke up i'm kidding i did go and make tea then i came back to bed <sighs> i keep catching it uh, how will i get through life today what's the deal mate who goes where I'm actually up now. Ugh. Let me show you what I mean. Some light in here. When I'm moving around, I can look, which way is it? So this side's pinched, but I can look that way. Can't go more than that. And then, ah! Okay, I can't look that way. Ah. Don't get me wrong. I am in so much pain right now that, oh, makes sense just stay in bed, but I can't because I'm employed now. Get a yab! I'm behaving like I'm like so stoked to have a job, which I am. Ugh. I think it's just today having so much pain and still very much feeling overwhelmed by it all. The amount of onboarding and people you have to meet. It's like you're one person having to meet an entire organization, whereas in that entire organization is only meeting one person. Do you see who's got the bigger challenge? I'm so glad we get teams now where there's like photos attached to people's names so I can at least get used to who I'm talking to and put a face to the name and a name to the face. Okay. Mm. Check this shit out. We're properly in the thick of it. I mean, where did it all go? I cannot even barely see the trees on the other side. This reminds me of that episode of The Crown that was all about severe fog. I don't know when it was, but it's like over 12,000 people died because they couldn't see more than like a foot in front of their faces. That's insane, yo. This is crazy, right? I would shower to get some heat on it to make it feel better trying to at least but i did shower last night so i'm not just gonna shower now because it's gonna waste time one sec did the male survive did the male man survive the male doesn't always make it out alive sometimes there's a bit of like beagle teeth marks i can't really can't really look up because of the whole neck situation. This is so stiff. Post says private and confidential. Nice. We get all our medical referrals in the post in the UK. So this is just a letter saying that the GP has seen me and she sent on my referral to another specialist. So this is just confirming that. Yeah, I want this appointment. The one thing I really like about living in the UK now is that their post is really effective. Anything that you need, whether it's tax related, seeing a doctor, official things, even my car, my license, all those things. They just send you a letter in the post. It's pretty great because I really suck with digital notification. I don't always check my emails. Uh, it's amongst the noise of all the other notifications on my phone. It just gets lost. But when they send it to me in the post, it's a much better way to make sure that I don't forget about an appointment or to go do something. Do you have the same thing? We live, our lives are so digitally crowded. 
Yeah, I think I'm kind of done in here. I don't really do... Ah, screw it. Oh. I don't generally wear a lot of face cream and stuff, but it's weird. Like, I'm starting to get to an age where I just need to do this more often. So, I'm actually out of face cream, so I'm just using this BB cream stuff. It is kind of like, um, well, it's liquidy, so... I think it's got a, like an SPF thing in it as well. I don't know. Oh, it even says it's anti-aging. Don't know what that means. Ugh. Okay, I feel better. My face is a little bit more hydrated. <sighs> I hope I look okay. I don't know. Don't really care. I work from home. No one really sees me. Ow, just poked myself in the eye. Ow, bloody hell. Like I said, I don't normally do this. I'll see you after I'm dressed quick. Quick interlude, I love a good sports bra. When it's got a little clip at the back as well as going over your head, like how the hell do people actually get the clip at the back? I don't know how people do it, but I managed to get it. It just took me forever, but I got it. Okay, I'm that person that wears a black bra and a white t-shirt over it. Nobody sees me, uh, and I just cover it with a really epic hoodie. Oh. Blimey. This stuff neck vibe is really starting to peeve me off. You need to see this. So this is my clothes pile from the night before. It's just my socks and things. But how did I do this? It's like if someone was sitting there. Like what the hell? That's as done as I'm gonna get today. <laughs> So I need a really good cup of tea in the morning. I normally have like two back to back, maybe three. The weirdest thing about now having the new job is that so I'm one week down. I'm in the middle of my second week. It is Wednesday today. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, uh, but for some reason, I just can't help it. I am dealing with a lot of onboarding. I'm meeting a lot of new people. My new role is actually a promotion from my last gig. So I don't know how and why I thought this was a good idea, but I've also decided to pick up my language learning again. Yes, I'm learning a new language. Um, what language, you might be wondering? well german i know it's not the sexiest language um but there's two reasons why i'm learning german specifically my dad can actually speak german and it's really a good idea when you learn a language to at least have someone you can speak to in that language to keep practicing the second reason sorry that was inappropriate is when i actually googled what is a good language to learn? German is easier for me if I'm going to learn a third language. Turns out it's best advised to learn a language that's closest to a language you're already speaking. I think that explains why it's so much easier. My tea is too long enough. I also don't want to have it too strong. Do you see this really awkward? Fun fact about learning a new language, I learned by listening to a podcast with Dr. Tara Swart. Ironically, <laughs> in my home tongue, it'll be Swart. But, uh, you know, there we go. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Okay, where was I? Wait, I need to get my computer for this. <sighs> it's one of the perks as well. Starting a new job, I don't have to use my own laptop. My notes. Uh, not now. So it's related to having a growth mindset. Little interesting facts. The brain is actively growing and changing until you're 25. And then from the ages of 25 to 65, if you're not intensely pushing your brain to grow, if you're not actively doing anything that is challenging, your brain will plateau. If you do things that are intense enough to force your brain to change, then you can do lots of new things and have global benefits in your brain. Okay, that's like a mouthful, but this is like the key takeaway, the gist of it, the nugget of information. So say you decide to need new, new uh, say you decide to learn a new language. Your brain will also improve its executive functions in things like being able to better regulate emotions, solve complex problems, think flexibly, creatively, override conscious or unconscious biases that you may have 
And I learned this after I started learning a new language. And I think what's potentially happened is because of my new job and my brain being pushed so far to like learn new things and get through the onboarding and things like that, naturally my brain has entered almost like a learning space growth as a result when I was like busy making tea or just I find that I'm busy going through my Duolingo and learning more German. But now I'm starting to question if it's not because my brain has been actively in a growth and learning space, which made me feel inspired to pick up my language learning again. And I was surprised. I remembered all of the words. That is really cool. It's really awesome. My neck. It's like preemptive, so please work. A little bit gutted uh, because I have an ex-colleague that has invited me out to a social in London, but she only messaged me the last bits of the arrangement early this morning. I don't have a car to get to the train station now. Maybe next time. I have not had breakfast yet. I can't think when I'm hungry. I've got a little bit of mint. I'm just gonna use a bit of that. And then vegan slices of cheese. None of the things that's in the ingredients here are things that I seem to react to. So that's the bomb. Love a bit of cheese. Maybe I'll have some eggs. I've got three eggs. I might, I might do an egg. Do you think? Uh, I might be getting sick. I don't want to think about it. Hopefully I'll feel better once I've eaten. So this is breakfast slash lunch. Brunch. I forgot that word exists. That thing that I've just put in the microwave is the best thing ever. My mom made that for me. It's just been a game changer. Instead of like a hot water bottle where it's kind of like square or like singular shape, it's almost like a centipede bag. You can like wrap it around you. And I'm gonna use that now for my neck and just see if I can get some relief. It's a true lifesaver. Thanks, mom. I was happy I could attend that session, but honestly, I hate, hate, hate being sick. I'm not sick, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. I refuse to be sick. Ugh. I hope that I will fight this off. I'm drinking my water, my shoulder's doing a little bit better, the sun is out. You know, I'm an optimistic person. I'm just gonna finish work for the day and I don't know yet if I'm gonna go to gym later. I'm undecided. I really wanna exercise and on the other hand, I also know that if I go and push myself too hard in gym when I'm already feeling a little under the weather, there's a pretty good chance that I'm just gonna make myself sick. Don't wanna do that. How do you manifest health? How do you think your way out of not getting sick? If there's any advice, please leave some comments below. This is the diary of a creative with pets living in the UK. Subscribe if you aren't already. Give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. Not cool, bro.
Um, it's 3 p.m. and my whole body is aching. I think the disease is winning. Still have my stiff neck. Really not happy right now, but it is what it is. And then to top it all off, frustrating. My hard drive is not connecting. My whole life is on there. It's this one. That's the new one because I was just making sure that it's not this thing. But the orange one's connecting and the black one's not. They're both plugged in through the same thing. It's less than a year old. It should be working. It's annoying AF because I've got so much video on there. It really just sucks. I've given in. Everything hurts. Did it start with me laying my neck funny and then like just spread or have I actually slowly been getting sick and not realizing it? And now I've got a really nice hot bath to help relax the muscles. So I'm just going to soak it up. This is not how I thought today I was going to end. This just happened. So much for my relaxing bath. I don't even think I can like these again. I mean, where even is the wick? Damn!